Sonia Renee Callahan is fixing to uh, call me, uh, or well, that's what I was told. I was just told that Sonia Renee Callahan, Callahan is supposed to call me uh, by Mia Linda Martin. That's her sister. Uh, she is one that is supposedly a witness to the murder of Haley Dunn, as reported by uh, Newswest 9. And Haley Dunn is 13 year old, Colorado City, Texas cheerleader. It is about 7 o'clock on September 14th. Uh, 2016. I just got the text message from Facebook, and so I'm waiting on my phone to ring. But I wanted to get this uh, documented first. This call is being recorded and is subject to monitoring. Hang up to decline the call or to accept. Dial 5 now. If you wish to block any future calls of this nature, dial 7 now. To decline this call, hang up. Hello. Hello, buddy. Yes. Hey. How, are you? Uh, how are you? Oh, pretty good. Is this Renee? Yes, it is, sir. Okay. How are you doing? Oh, I'm... That's good. I'm doing pretty good. I was just waiting on your call. Your sister told me that uh, you were going to call, and, and so... Uh, yes. Uh, um, you know, this has been a hell of a thing with this issue, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's, it's been a rough one. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I really can't even imagine, you know, I... I you know, I was I was there at the house, and I seen her. You know, my heart just went down to the floor. What do I do? Either respond in her life, or 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 mine. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, and it was just a big deal. But what I'm calling for, you know, I heard that you got shot. Yes, I did, and I was shot inside my home. And and that is an incredible story. I mean, it really is. A, I buy a home in, in Midland. Uh, yes, I, I'm from Midland, too. Okay. You know? Well, the, the previous homeowner of this home, a young guy, dies about two weeks before I bought the home. And I now oh think God. I think he was murdered by the same people that later tried to kill me, okay? And so I'm, oh so I'm living here a couple years, and I figure out that somebody is breaking into my home, repeatedly breaking into my home. And, uh, yes. and of course, I called the police multiple times, called the Texas Rangers, called the FBI, told my family, friends, coworkers, everything. Anyway, I, I finally, um, in 2011, I married a woman uh -huh. that's from Midland, and she's the first person that suggested uh, or that uh, she asked me, she says, you think they're coming from the ground? And and I hadn't, I hadn't thought of that, you know, that somebody had actually put a tunnel yeah. under this home. And the more, yeah. but the more I thought about it, the more it made sense. And so we were only married three months, and we separated. And so I called the DEA, called the El Paso DEA, and then I called yeah. the Midland DEA, and I reported a suspected smuggling tunnel. Because see, my home is right directly behind Home Depot, and 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 it's yeah. a secluded truck unloading lane there. And I'm seeing these 18 wheelers pull up and in the middle of the night or whatever stay a little bit and leave highly suspicious yeah. okay so anyway i reported the yeah. suspected tunnel the dea never looked and two weeks later i'm shot from from ground level a person underneath my home shot me from the floor oh this is an incredible story okay so i fall to the ground and my phone lines disconnected they tried to kill me in my home Okay, that's oh, wow. and so so I crawled out and my security cameras took a picture of me and I got this picture on Facebook and and I and I, I mean I'm walking talking miracle I gave God all the credit that for me to be alive. Yes. Okay. Okay, this is what I wanted to ask you. Do you know Jackie Thompson? No, no. Well, you need to look that up. 
Let, let me take, give you about five more, a little bit okay. more of this story. Okay, I, I crawled out, and then I go to the hospital. They cut the back of my leg off, my back of my foot off. Now I'm disabled. When I get out, I find out the cops are saying I'm crazy, and I shot myself. What I find on my cameras at, when, at my house is 19 minutes after I crawled out, the first two secret police showed up. I got pictures of them. I got a video of them. To this day, nobody can tell me who they are. Uh, a few hours later, a group, a gang, there was two people the first time, and they were in tan uniforms like sheriff department, okay? I think they were with DPS or sheriff. And then later that night, a group of police, about five, six, seven, eight, were caught inside my home, sneaking in, searching drawers, stealing evidence, and staging the crime scene of this capital murder attempt. No police report, and nobody can tell me who they are four years later. And I got pictures of them. What, and what they did... They, can you send me a picture of them? Yeah, I don't know how to. How, how do I send you a picture? Well, mail it. Go on the Internet and look up... FMC Carswell Prison, Federal Prison. Okay. And you can send them to me. Okay. Carswell. Okay. And and yeah, FMC Carswell. Okay. And yeah. Send them to me. Oh, absolutely. See, I don't have a lot of money to talk. You okay. Know, uh, I just had four dollars to call. Okay. You know, okay. Uh, but um. Well, let, well, let's let's uh, talk a minute here about Haley Dunn. Okay. And okay. and I'll tell you what what the deal is. Trucking lane behind my home. I saw a little girl out there one day, and and I make a video and put it on YouTube. And and I suggested you know maybe that this was connected with Haley Dunn. Okay, a woman yeah. from Odessa con sees my video and contacts me. She was a drug rehab counselor over in Odessa, and one of their clients, one of the drug people, come in. Okay. And and she wrote me and told me this. I have a document from her, okay? And she told me that, that this guy told her that he was at a home over in Odessa and they and they shot up, you know, uh oh Haley okay, and Haley. They shot her up. They shot her up and she died. And then and they and what specifically he said that it was for a hundred and thirty five dollars worth of meth from the mom. That's why Haley was there. It was a hundred and thirty five dollars worth of meth. And then she died, so they contacted the mom and they put her in a box and they buried her and she has all these details, okay? And I have the name of that person, okay? Right? But I didn't I did, and so I Okay. And then I remembered yeah. your story, and when I looked it up, it's almost the exact same story as as what she's telling me that guy said. Okay. And, yes. And and okay. what happened? What happened was, is that when she tried to go to the police and to the FBI, they discredited her story. And she is, I mean, she is a. Uh, just got out of college, a, a, a degreed professional, and then, of course, once again, you know, the way she wrote it, they ruined her life because she tried to report this as a good citizen should, you know? Yeah. And so okay. so we have two people, you and another person, telling the exact same story about what well, happened to Haley Dunn. Plus, I have a friend here that she knows my story, and she knows exactly, too, what, what happened, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But... I'm going to name some names off, and you tell me yes or no. Joe, uh, K-R-O-F-T, David Allison, K-C-F-R-A-C, no, F-R-A-Z-E-E, -E. Kevin Rickman, uh, Dusty Brett, Brettick, uh, David Parker, Brooke, Letty, and Billy Phelps. Now, I'm not familiar with them names, uh, I, but I will tell you... And Mark and, 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 and Max Mays. Okay. I will tell you that um, that the person that she told me, and I haven't released that name, but she put it in the email, okay, the person she said confessed.